and access your system on. The better way pyramid is lying on the ground on one of its base edges such that the axis is parallel to VP and inclined to HP. Inclination is 30 degree to HP. So here is the simple position for the top view. We draw the pentagon with the base side 20 pm on. So therefore we draw one vertical line. Here we draw another line for the same 25, but the included angle should be 5108. Similarly, we draw the line at the opposite side. We see this and we take the same 25 from here and we cut one arc. 25 from here and we cut another arc. We get the point A. So when we bisect these lines, we will get the center of the pentagonal shape. So, pentagonal pyramid looks like this in the top view. You have five equal triangles at the top view. So now when you project this, you will get the bottom line base and uh, through the axis you can take the 60 mm height that is the axis length. You can join this and you will be getting the pentagon in this position. Now we have to put the side of the pentagon on the ground. So therefore take this side DC. DC on the ground. We have to draw the axis 30 degree HP. So therefore obviously you have to draw the base 60 degree. Draw the 60 degree line. Draw a 60 degree line. This is 60 degree. Place this base line on this 60 degree. So the starting position is C1 dash, D1 dash and the end is A1 dash. And measure this distance, locate B1 dash and E1 dash. Again, you can draw the axis. Remember, for a regular pentagonal pyramid, the axis should be equal to the base. Take the 65 mm, place on the axis line, complete the triangular shape, triangular shape. Similarly, you can draw dark line here. So the final front view is ready. You can put this point as one suffix one dash. Draw the position lines C D through O through D and E. Similarly through A. Draw horizontal lines from the previous front view. You can finish the top view. See here, A horizontal is here and A vertical comes out to be small A1. B horizontal and B vertical is small B1. C horizontal and C vertical is small C1. D horizontal and D vertical is small D1. E horizontal and E vertical, you can get this. O horizontal and vertical you will get O1. So now join the extreme edges blindly. Join the extreme edges blindly. Join the extreme edges blindly joining it. The joining order is very simple. You have A to be connected with B, B to C, C to D, D to E, then A. Again, there is a common point O which you have to connect with the, all the points O, B, O, C, O, D, O, E. Oh, yeah. Now, if you see the visibility, you have to identify the extreme corner. This is one extreme corner, this is another extreme corner. When you assume two horizontals, only OA is visible. Accepting OA, everything is invisible. So, ABCDE is completely invisible. So, AB is edge, leave it. BC is dotted again. CD is again dotted. DE is dotted. OA is visible. So, make dot line for OA. OB is invisible, but OB is edge, leave it. OC is invisible, so try to draw the dotted line for OC. OD is also invisible, so draw OD dotted. OE is again edge, you can leave it. So this is the final topic for the pentagon, which is resting on the ground with one of its sides. At the same time, axis is inclined at 30 degree to HP and uh, parallel to VP.